it like this. <sighs> Marvin, Felix. Let me jump into this, right? Thank you all for coming back, and uh, I want to thank the organizers for Bits and Pretzels for letting, letting us at 500 Startups be part of this really, really well-organized, as I expected, conference. Um, oh, it's, it's, it's been fantastic. Um, so tell you a little bit about this conference and sort of why Fiverr and Startups want to sort of be part of this. Um, you know, we recognize what a huge and growing ecosystem of startups there has been in this region, in Europe, but also particularly in Germany. And um, we're really, really excited to sort of be part of this now. So we, you know, we, as part of this startup competition, we looked at over, it was challenging, 200 startups actually came in, right? 200, winnowed it down to, yeah. 205 startups, and we end up looking at picking about 80 and then winning it down to these final seven, I believe, right? Seven, seven startups. So, um, and so the winner, winner of the startup, um, the startup competition actually gets a shot at our um, interview for the final, uh, pro, you know, final interview is actually for our San Francisco Accelerator, which I actually run in uh, San Francisco, obviously. And, um, and you go, why is this a big deal? It's a big deal because we look at probably close to 1,000 to 1,100 companies to win it down to about 70 to 90 companies that we actually interview. And most of the interviews, I think people walk out, actually still think it's very, very helpful. So I think it's a fairly big deal. Um, as well, too, the second, um, second prize place uh, winner will actually get a mentoring session with uh, the 500 team and some of our distro people. So we think that'll be helpful as well, too. And both of the, fi the finalists will actually get a mentoring session with the one and only Felix Haas. Woo! Yeah! Ooh, that's a real prize. That's a real prize. Uh, uh, Jordan. <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> um, but, you know, we're really excited to see the company. So thank you once again for having us, and good luck to the startups. I'm looking forward to seeing the pitches. Exactly. So how is it going to run down? We're going to see all seven pitches obviously, and they have a time limit, a time limit of 90 seconds. And after those 90 seconds, we cut off the microphone no matter what, what happens. So uh, that's going to be it. So um, they better get prepared behind the scenes. And I think, um, are they ready to come out? OK. So let's give them a big applause. Please, here are our participants, the finalists of our seat. and. Pitch of Pits and Pretzels 2015. Here they are. <laughs> Michael Friedmann von 123 Recht. Johannes Stoffel von Corosso. Daniel Strohmeier von Tectarian. Alessio Avalon von Jodel. Nicolas von Nicola de Le Coconier von JC Parts. Stephanie, Stephanie, where are you? Ah, here. Okay, Alice von Mystery Vibe and Markus Russell von Gig Mit. Okay, we have the first finalist, and let me see. That's going to be you, Michael. Michael, are you ready? Yes. All right, give Michael a big applause. Michael, come with me. Do we have a microphone? Okay. Sag noch mal deinen Namen und was du vorstellst. Ja, mach einen Schritt vor. Wunderbar. My, my name is Michael Friedman and I'm going to talk about 123 Rechtnet. All right. Michael, are you ready? Your time is running now. What do you call a thousand lawyers chained to the bottom of the ocean? It's a good start, according to Tom Hanks in his movie Philadelphia. But why is it so? It's because people, unless you're a lawyer yourself, fear lawyers and their prices. <clears throat> Our vision is that people can solve their legal problems within minutes, by themselves or with a lawyer, without fear and with transparent costs. That's why we have created 123 Rechtnet and Frag einen Anwalt.de. And this has disrupted the whole legal industry. Since our start, our lawyers has helped 180,000 clients. People have created 250,000 legal intelligent documents by themselves within minutes. And now we want to standardize legal services. A super lawyer, a clone army of super lawyers. Imagine that you have 
the same customer experience, the great customer experience, and result with every legal problem that you have. No more disappointments. And this is where we need your help and your money. With your funding, we will create the largest legal service company in Germany. Thank you very much. My name is Michael. Woo! Wow. Very good. German precision, thank you. Johannes, you're next. And start with your name and your company. Here. Okay, are you ready? Okay. Your so, name? Servus, grüß euch. Um, uh, your name first. My name is Johannes and I'm the co-founder from Carosso. Okay, so are you ready? I'm ready. Okay, your time is running now. Carosso simplifies the way pre-owned cars are sold and bought online. Rather than getting ripped off by the dealership or handling with shady individuals, our sellers get certified and a cars for a better price at our platform. On the other side, buyers can buy the car completely online, which are pre-checked from our investor, uh, from our inspectors, and uh, we will take more than 50 pictures before the car gets listed. So um, we deliver the car finally with a DECRA certificate in front of the buyer's house so that it's ready to drive. So, in um, comparison to the local car dealer, we are taking only a cut between 5 and 8 percent and use every single market information for our pricing. So, um, we are solving the lack of transparency and we are eliminating all the inefficiencies in this market because we are, on, we are also reporting the whole history of the car as well as every single technical and optical issue of the car. With no physical storing while the car is listed and no inefficient sales guys, we can avoid all that high working capital and can so far guarantee buyers and sellers a better price. Right now, we are focusing on the younger premium segment and have already generated a GMV of more than 250,000 euros. In order to scale up our whole demand and supply side to over 250 cars, we are just asking for 500K in seed money. Thank you very much. <laughs> Daniel, you're next. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. First, we need your name and your company. My name is Daniel Strohmeyer. I am one of the founders of Tecterion. Wonderful. Jury is ready. You are ready? Okay, time is running. Eight years ago, Steve Jobs completely changed the way we interact with mobile devices by introducing the iPhone and, and multi-touch. This completely changed the way we inter interact with mobile devices, but I want to ask you now, what if this wouldn't stop there? What if every product could be interacted with by touch? What if every product could sense touch? We are a spinner from the German Aerospace Center. In, in over eight years, we have solved the problem that tactile sensors have to be robust and sensitive at the same time. For over 30 years, this was not be able to be done before. So it is our mission to bring artificial skin to market. This is the technology we created, and it makes every surface sensitive. So we want to bring the sense of touch to the Internet of Things. We are convinced that in the future, the way we inter interact with technology will be way more in intimate than today, and we, for the first time, are able to gather that data, that unique and highly valuable interaction data. And this is what we bring now to the market. Um, our growing team is working every day hard to fundamentally change the way we inter interact with technology, and we would love your financial support for that. Tecterion makes sense. Thank you. Nice. Alessio, ready. Right here. Wonderful. Tell us your name, please, and your company. My name is Alessio, and I'm presenting Yodel app today. Great. <laughs> this is the right place for that. OK, you ready? <laughs> Three, two, one, go. OK, so yesterday, Gil Pencina did a very great presentation, and he said something really smart. He was saying that using existing human behavior and doing it digitally is what the best business in the world 
consists of. And we're doing exactly that. On Yodel, you can send a message or a picture to everyone around you. You don't need any friends, any followers, no profile. Just download the app and start yodeling straight away with people around you, you and you. If you open the app right now here in Munich, you're going to see a lot of funny stories straight from the Oktoberfest. People sharing pictures from inside the tents. Other people are asking how long the queues are. And even people here at Bits and Pretzels are using Yodel right now. And that's the beauty of it, because Yodel is different in every place. It's a mirror of your current location. We grow by universities and achieve to acquire more than 750,000 users in the past month. But this is not limited to university students, because using existing human behavior and that's what we're doing because being interested in what other people around you are talking about is basic human behavior. Well, I fucked up the sentence, but you get what I tried to say. <laughs> Next will be Nicola. Okay, this is right, right here. Okay, wonderful. And we start with your name and the company name. My name is Nicola, and I'm the founder of GC Parts. And your time is running now. The car industry is lying to us. <laughs> I know it from inside. I come from that industry. You know what it is? It is a pretzel. Now imagine it's a timing belt because I lost my one in the toilet. Sorry. You know how much that cost? One euro for the factory on 100 euro for the final customer at the authorized dealership. So car manufacturers today, they are not making money selling cars. They are making money selling parts. Sorry for the Brexit. So at GC Parts, we have the ambition to disrupt this high margin industry, building the biggest digital marketplace to make, to give to people the possibility to buy parts for a cheaper price and to give to garages a very easy interface to buy parts with a nice online experience to build the hugest marketplace in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, we are hitting a very high margin market on a billion euro industry. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you. Thank you, Nicola. Thank you. So, Stephanie. Okay. Follow me here, please. This is your mark. Okay. Please state your name and your company. Hi, everyone. I'm Stephanie, and I'm with Mystery Vibe. Your time is running now. So every once in a while, a product comes along that completely changes the way we think about a certain industry. And that's what we really hope to do in pleasure and sex. We're currently going through a complete revolution in empowerment. Technology, the IoT, big data is giving us so much more choice and personalizing everyday objects and experiences. But despite being a $20 billion industry, sex and pleasure is lagging behind. And at Mystery Vibe, we believe in improving sexual pleasure, sexual health, and relationships. And we think that pleasure products should be designed completely around the user, around you. So we pulled together a great team of people from Deloitte, Microsoft, Google, and Durex, who are all so passionate about sex and tech. <laughs> and we created Crescendo, a vibrator that is completely adaptable. It bends to take any shape you want and is programmable via an app. But Crescendo is just the start for us. We've already got $70,000 worth in pre-orders pre and achieved so much mainstream press. But we really want to create a bedroom that understands, learns, and adapts to you and your partner and really inspires you. So we want to use the hardware to understand pleasure much better 
and then create things like visuals, aromas, that are intimately personalized directly to you. Thank you very much. That's you made it. Very good. <laughs> Marcus, the final contestant. Ooh. This is your mark. First, we begin the name and the company name. Hi, I'm Marcus. Uh, I'm the founder and CEO of GeekMit. And I never did this, but I have to show you something. Wow. So the time is running. The, the, the record industry is broken, as you can see. Only 2%, thank you. Only 2% of artists' revenue is driven by Spotify. But more than 80% of artists' revenue is driven by live music. So as you can imagine, there's nothing more important for an artist than playing live. Gigmit helps to bring artists where they belong on this stage. We have a very simple solution. Artists get access to gig opportunities. Event organizers post their opportunities. It's that simple. And in the last two months, on GigMit, we booked more shows than Warner Music Germany booked in an entire year. Now, we are creating the world's biggest live music technology company and you can be part of it. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> that is impressive. Um, but let me tell, my, tell you something. Our jury is so advanced, you know, like they they don't buy shit like that just because you're doing this, okay? Um, I'm really, 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 uh, I'm really curious what you guys will make out of this. And I think you'll need a little time, right, in order to like make up your time and, and, and discuss uh, behind the scenes. So I really want you to take the time to make a fair judgment here. And to all the contestants and the participants, please give them a big, 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 big applause just for, the, just for being here. We have 3,000 people here in the audience right here, and we have thousands of viewers all around the world on the, on the stream, so therefore, this wasn't easy, guys. You did a great, great job. With that, I would say you just like take have a drink you do your work as a jury and we'll see you all out again after the next panel is that okay cool so without further ado please goodbye see you all again and we'll be curious who's gonna be the second and the first winner